Randy's on his way down. He wants to charge up the AC system on the Cavalier and the Cadillac. Unfortunately, the Cadillac ain't starting on. I'm not sure why. Battery's dead, but give it a quick little jump. This will let her charge for a few minutes, see what happens. All right, so apparently just the battery cable was extremely loose. It doesn't want to tighten up on here either. All right, I'm gonna get it the best I can. See what happens. All right, we got lights on inside now. It's more than we had a minute ago. There we go. All right, come on, girl. All right. Whoa, a little rough firing up. Doesn't sound too happy. Let's get her warmed up. Good Lord. 135,000 miles, man. That's not bad on this old girl. All right. All right, she's running again. All right, you guys, so Randy came down last night, fixed the AC on the Cadillac and that old Lumina. And uh, here she is, man. She's all ready to, she's, she's ready to sell. So we're gonna take it out, get some pictures of it. Get it up for sale does have ice cold air conditioning but she does have a few other issues you know nothing major i don't guess i don't know it just depends on on who buys it you know somebody might be willing to take it as is and that's what we're going to do i'm going to just sell it the way it is we will disclose the issues make the person aware and we'll just price it accordingly and it should get on out of here at some point get the old auction numbers off of here right quick Man, these old cars have huge trunks. That's like the size of some truck beds today. <laughs> it's about the size of a, an F-150 bed right there. Got some new caps in there. Somebody wants to put those on. It's got all the center caps. It's original ones, but I guess if they want to put some brand new ones on there, they are a whole set of them. We're going to throw that in on the deal. Does that not work? Uh-oh. Uh, maybe I need to turn the key on or something. Not sure why that's not working. Let's see. Oh, I guess the battery came undone again. <laughs> I slammed the hood a second ago and that must have been all it took. These old cars, man, I'll tell you what, they just ain't nothing but a pain in my... I tried this last night. The problem I was having is this, this bolt is stripped. I see it just came on that easy. Unfortunately, it won't tighten up. It is, it's stripped out for some reason. Well, if it needs a longer longer bolt it just kind of yeah if you look there's really no threads on that huh well that sucks i'm not sure if i have any of those or not let's see what we can come up with all right yeah you could tell it's kind of stripped out there really ain't no threads on it it's tempting just to throw it in there and call it good but i guarantee you you'll be passing this right on to the customer this issue that's not cool we don't want to do that have them get right down the street and be broke down i don't think that would be too good for business and it's just not cool in general so let's see if we can't fix this up a little better here yeah yeah let me go grab a wrench All right, so we got our new bolt in there. She's nice and tight. I think that'll get it on that.
All right, so that's all we needed. Just hook the battery up and that all started working just fine. All right, let's get her fired up. Let's get her out in some better lighting, get some pictures of it. Let's try out that AC Randy fixed last night. There we go. Man, she's getting cold already. He did a good job on that AC, man. It blows ice cold. So she's got that going for her. I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for the misfire, this thing would be great. She's a one owner, non-smoker. Check it out. In fact, I need to get these out of here and go ahead and just plug them in the hole because they're rattling around making noise. You don't want things rattling around making noise on test drives. Come on out of here. Golly, how many cigarette lighters does this thing have? Look at this. Is this one of those cars where they got one in every door? <laughs> yep. Let's just go ahead and stick those down in there so they're not rattling around anymore. I'll put the other one over on the other side. She doesn't seem to ride around too bad. I mean, even on these old country roads, she rides pretty smooth. Kind of floats around in the front end just a little bit. It doesn't make any kind of noise, no excessive squeaks or rattles. I mean, it's got a lot going for it. It'd be worth, you know, it'd be worth fixing up for somebody. It wouldn't be profitable for me, you guys. I know some of you probably want me to get this in the shop and take it to the next level, but there, there's no money in it. In the shape it's in with its issues, we'll be lucky to get around $1,000 for this thing. These cars just don't sell very well and they don't sell for very much. So we'll see, uh, she's got a dead miss. People are gonna get here and they're gonna frown on that immediately. So that with the headliner hanging down, um, you know, a few other little things, nothing major, you know, I mean, got a couple of cosmetic issues. It's been hit in the front at one point, so it's got mismatched panels put on it. I guess they didn't report it to their insurance company, so it wasn't on the Carfax. So anyway, you know, we'll probably ask around $1,200 for this. See if we can't find somebody that's willing to give it a good home. Somebody that is willing to take it to that le that next level. And uh, unfortunately, that, that's not me. Not this time. You know, in spite of that, that misfire, she does have power. I mean, she gets up and goes. She does all right. She does have a V8 engine, after all. Man, that AC is cold. See, we've been down this road before with these old luxury vehicles. Um, we've done a few town cars in the past that were great cars that ran perfectly. And we were lucky to get rid of them for like $1,500, $1,800. So with this one having the dead miss, we'll see. I mean, maybe somebody will want it. I don't know. But I'm going to put it out there for about $1,200. You know, we might make a couple of hundred bucks for it. But... You know, at that, there's just no way for me to um, be able to put any real work into it. I can't get out there and run a buffer over it and, you know, get in here and do the detail or any of that stuff, man. It'd be a total waste of time on my part. This has to be profitable. I have to look at this from like a business standpoint. And if there's no money in it, then I just got to pass it on down the line. And we will have to do that with some of these cars. Some of these cars won't really get a big spot on the channel. They won't get the weird beard treatment. I'm sorry, but some of them will just get passed on to the next guy. And this one, this is one of them. So we will disclose all of its issues in the ad when we post it for sale. We're not going to try to pull a fast one on anybody. That's not how we roll. Um, it's been my experience that as long as you price it accordingly, it'll sell no matter what it is. So we'll, I think $1,200 and we'll see what we settle on. We'll see how close we get to that. Um, I don't think that's too far off. I mean, it does have ice cold AC. Did I, did I mention that? But hey, there she is. Body wise, it doesn't look too bad. I know you guys have already seen it on Randy's channel, most of you, but got a little trim piece missing there. You know, a little, little mismatch. You know, the panel's not lining up perfectly. Trim kind of coming loose. Just to give you guys an idea why we're selling it so cheap. Um, you know, I mean, the window regulator doesn't work. Just stuff like that. But still would be a good car for somebody, I believe.
All right, so it's this one's turn now. This is the Cavalier. I think I called it Illumina earlier. This one's not a little bad little car. This one's not a bad little car. Good little A to B car, I guess. I mean, we're going to let it go cheap enough. It runs all right and it drives all right. And look how clean the motor is. I'm really surprised at how clean that is. The dashboard's a little rough. Definitely seen better days. The seats aren't bad, though. This carpet here is wet. We need to vacuum that out. Um, the cowling was plugged up, but we did get that straightened out, so it shouldn't be an issue anymore, but we do need to get that water vacuumed out of there, maybe get a floor mat in there would be nice. Yeah, just like the Cadillac, this one's got its share of issues too. That dashboard is terrible. The headliner, oh my goodness, what is going on there? As far as running and driving, she does very well. So she's got that going for it. And it's got that ice cold AC, that's what people want right now. So we'll probably do the same thing on this one, probably around 1200 bucks, to see how close we could get to it. Uh, Somebody's gonna get a pretty good deal on a car on this one. I know it doesn't look so great, but what it doesn't have in looks, it makes up for everywhere else. So maybe somebody will want it. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, in case any of you guys missed it, there she is. Got some paint issues for sure. The body looks okay, but the paint is terrible. Good tires all the way around. I believe them to be a matching set. So anyway, there she is in case you guys, any of you guys missed it. Uh, same issue, probably 1200 bucks. See what we can get for it. Only about 89,000 miles on it. It's not too bad for a car this age, but she does need a few things. All right, you guys, we're heading up the driveway. I got somebody say they want to come out and check out the Cadillac. So let's see if we can get this one sold. All right, hopefully she's gonna fire right up. We got juice, that's good. Alright, cool. Some of you guys might remember I was having a little bit of a issue with the battery cable on this one, but apparently we got her straightened out. Awesome. Last thing you want is for the car not to start when somebody shows up to take it for a drive. That wouldn't be cool. Man, I tell you what, this car has been nothing but a pain in the butt. We got a freaking flat tire, man. Alright, I'm gonna go get the air tank. Hopefully she'll take air. Let's load this into the old Cavalier. We'll take it up the driveway. Save me a little bit of walking. It's hot out here. All right, so that ought to get us back down the driveway. We'll get it out, down there to the air hose and finish it off and we'll check all the rest of them while we're at it. All righty. Hopefully he'll show up. All right, I think this might be my guy. All right, here we go. All right, there that thing goes, thank God. Man, it just did that battery cable thing again. It's been working all this time and I'll be damned if he didn't just do it right now on his way out of here. Good Lord. I'm so glad to see that thing go. You guys ever meet an old lady you just don't like? Just a bitter old lady. That's that car. A regular Carol friggin' Baskin. All right, so we sold that one for $975. I know some of you guys are probably like, dude, that's crazy, that's way too cheap. But man, that car had some issues. It was kind of a pain, not really worth messing with. So on down the road she goes. It's gone. Now it's on to the next one. All right, so we're gonna keep moving along here. I gotta get that Cobalt in here. You guys remember the cobalt ss from auto auction rebuild it's down here we're going to do a little body work to it get it ready for mako mako's going to respray that one but we're going to uh, try to save a few bucks and get the body work done ourselves all right it's this one's turn let's get her in the shop all right so let's see what we're working with here nearest i could tell we just got something with with some dings here just a little, just a few dings, you know, here and there. Uh, this, this is the worst of it right here. We got a little wave. You will see that? Just a bunch of little stuff like this, mostly. See a little dent there right on the edge. 
we'll have to be careful keep our body work out here because we're not spraying the jams so that'll be a little tricky but we'll get it get a few little dings there on the rear quarter the rest of it's just mostly scuffs like this scratch here you can kind of feel it with your fingernails so we'll probably go over that kind of feather that back just a little bit I think I seen something up here on the front bumper that might need a little addressing um, I think it was yeah right here right on this corner was a good little spot we'll have to fix so all in all not too bad I think we'll get this knocked out right quick all right so I've gone through here and I went ahead hit all of these with my DA and 80 grit these are all the dents that I'm going to be fixing there's some more down here I still need to hit that should take care of this side we'll be feathering back this peeling clear coat as well All right, so now that the body work's done, I could go through and I could feather all the way around the edges with my 320 grit, and then it'll be ready for primer. So that takes care of the passenger side. It had quite a few little dings on it. This is all ready to uh, hit with the primer. Went ahead and fixed a spot back here on the rear bumper as well. We got this done up here too. Managed to just barely just go just like right inside the lip here. Not too bad. They should be able to blow paint right in there. Shouldn't be a problem. As far as the driver's side, it's just going to be more of the same. You see all my little circles. Got a few circles there, some more down at the bottom. But I'm not gonna bore you guys with all of that. You already seen the other side, right? I don't know, maybe we'll just do a little camera magic. There you have it. All the body work is done. This thing is ready to be primed in. Got a big old spot there. There's like a low spot all the way down the door right there, but she's good now. Fix that spot down underneath. That was really bad. A few little door dings down the side, nothing too major. This bumper had a, had a few big spots on it, but they're good now. All right, so Randy's up here unloading the Saab, dropping it off. I'm gonna go ahead and get this up there. I'm gonna load it up. He'll get it on down to Mako. But there it is, all done. Had a little more body work than I thought it would need. Had a big old spot there, and up here on the roof was a big old spot. This whole area right here was up for some reason. I had to kind of knock it down around the edge to make it match the other side. And then a little skim coat of glaze. Took care of it, ought to be good. All right, so we'll get this thing up here to rain to get it loaded up, head it out, take delivery of the old Saab, get it ready for sale, and then we can get back on some of our other stuff. All right, so there goes the cobalt. See you later. Off to the paint shop she goes. All right, so we've got the Saab down here. This is that Saab Randy from Auto Auction Rebuilds. Picked up from the auction. And he's got her all sorted out, so I shouldn't have to do anything to this one but just sell it.
and she's clean too so that's awesome so that's cool you gotta like it when that happens all right y'all we got somebody on the way to look at the cobalt wish me luck hopefully we'll get this one out of here so i think our, i think they made it yeah there they are right there that was a pretty good little car um that's gonna make somebody a, a good a to b car and i was asking 1200 on it just the same and uh, ended up taking 1100 on that one i kind of i kind of held firm on that one a little bit i think it was worth it all right so we got somebody on the way to look at this old sob you guys could probably see i got my car selling shirt on which also happens to be my car buying shirt and all right y'all wish me luck man hopefully they'll buy this thing all right there goes the sob they bought it we did 22.50 on that one she's out of here all right so the sob is gone 22.50 on it like i mentioned a second ago i figured i'd skip the the usual walk of fame down the driveway after the car sale being that it's about 100 degrees outside check me out man got me a nice little cruise vehicle something to cruise up and down the driveway man the old mercedes mercedes fourth s430 formatic is that what you call this thing it's a mouthful but hey what what better vehicle to cruise up and down the driveway in right this is nice man the ac blasting ice cold air this is the only one we got left we got to get this one out of here next um to be honest with you guys I and mean, we got it priced at uh 39.95 and i haven't really gotten any interest at all i've had a couple people ask if it was still available but nobody's even offered to come look at it and i was kind of afraid of that i kind of figured at this price it might be a bit much with the miles um the miles are over 200,000 on it but i mean it's in really good shape so somebody took pretty good care of it i think it's been garage kept all that good stuff so anyway we'll probably go ahead and lower the price down a little bit on this one i'm thinking maybe we'll just knock 500 dollars off put it out there 34.95 and see if that'll uh, generate a little bit of interest on it because we do need this one out of here we might could hold on you know and and try to get the you know the the 39.95 but i just i don't like holding on to them I don't like them sitting around the longer it sits the more I got to wash it and keep it clean sitting I mean I live in a forest so constantly washing these things and rinsing them off keeping the tree pollen and everything off of them and in fact this thing needs a rinse already so we'll probably be having to either get out get drag out the pressure washer or run it by the car wash or something and after doing that a few times no I'd rather just send it on down the road and besides that um the market has spoken you know i mean the, the market will tell you what your car is worth and everybody's market is different your market might be more or less i don't know you might think i'm crazy trying to get 3500 for it then again you might think hey man i could get five grand where i'm at it all it just varies so anyway 39.95 the market's spoken that's too much nobody wants it so we're gonna knock it down probably about 34.95 like i said see what happens i mean all you can do is try but hey all in all not bad i mean we got rid of i got rid of three cars in just a few days so cool deal i'm really glad the way that all worked out and as usual it's on to the next one all right i think i'm going to end it on that note the video is getting a little bit long i appreciate all of you guys watching uh like share subscribe all of that good stuff really do appreciate it don't forget my instagram i'll leave a link in the description i'll see you guys next time